Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and today we're at the Long Anchor Theater in New York City talking to George Takei and the cast of Allegiance. Get ready for a great day behind the velvet rope. It's me, Arthur Cade. I remember interviewing you, George Takei, for your documentary, and you were telling me, Allegiance, San Diego, I hope I can get this to Broadway. Guess what? We're talking on Broadway, and Allegiance is here. How crazy is that? I thought then, back then in San Diego, it would uh, happen immediately, imminently. But there was that interregnum of three years, and we used those three years to polish and tweak and make it even better. And here we are in this beautiful Long Acre Theater, in technical rehearsals, I can't tell you how thrilled I am. It's an important story, and we tell it with music, and with joy, and with uh, engaging production numbers. Because, you know, it took a lot of resilience on the part of the Japanese Americans to survive in those camps. And a measure of that resilience is the ability to find joy and romance and love. How unreal yeah. is it to have it here in New York? It's just the most amazing thing. It's been a dream for, I think, the entire creative team to get the show on a Broadway stage in a Broadway theater. Um, and now that it's actually happening, everybody's over the moon. Everyone in the cast, the creative team, everybody backstage, it's everybody just feels like, oh my gosh, so many dreams are coming true. Um, and in act, we're actually doing this documentary called Trek to Broadway, and at the end of the first part of it, when J. Quo, our composer and lyricist and one of the book writers, tells Mark Aceto, who's one of our other book writers, tells him that we have a theater, we have the Long Acre, Mark's glasses start to steam up and he starts to cry and he says, well, I, I wasn't expecting for dreams to come true when I walked through the door. And, and then I started tearing up while watching it. And so many dreams are coming true. It's such a personal story for George. Talk to me about telling it. Well, you know, I, it, I was so drawn to this project because it was a, a personal story for George, but I also think it's such an American story. You know, it's, uh, it, 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 it is uniquely American in that, you know, the Kimuras, you know, they are, they are of Japanese descent, but they are from Salinas, California, and they're as American as they can be. And because of one event that happened in history, you know, people looked at their skin color and they saw, you know, maybe who they were, where their relatives were from, and all of a sudden they were looked upon as not American. And I think, you know, it's, it's a wonderful show, I think, that kind of says, listen, America, there are many faces to America, and America has, you know, looks a lot of different ways, and that's kind of the beauty of this country. And so um, th I think that really is that really is at the core of what the show is about. Each and every day in rehearsal, you know, he'll come up with another story about his youth, about uh, what he went through, um, the relationship he had with his father and his family at the time. Um, and it makes it that much more real for us. You know, it's, it's not just words on a page. It's not just notes uh, in a libretto. It's, it's real life that we're talking about here. And that's what sort of, you know, fuels our, our rehearsals, you know? We're not just, you know, we're not playing dress up. We're sort of representing real people, real experiences, real history. And so that responsibility is, is something, you know, we sort of all put upon our shoulders and sort of run with. It's really exciting. When you see this story, it's a story that a lot of people don't know. Having that extra uh, ability to tell this story has got to be so important as a performer. Absolutely, yeah. I think it, the fact that George is with us every day, we have this unique insight into this era of history that a lot of people don't know anything about. And, um, and so that definitely uh, makes, it, makes it exciting for us. George Takei is probably just such an incredibly sweet person. Everyone immediately, he's exactly what you expect 
him to be, which is not always the case when you meet stars. I mean, he is just a wonderful, he makes you feel important, he just takes you in. And his story, I mean, I remember the first day of rehearsal, everyone there, he brought all the act, and he told his story to the point where he goes to tears and just bawling. And I mean, if you can't like get behind that, it's, I mean, really this sweet, wonderful person. And to hear his story told, it really is, it's really quite a, an experience to be part of something that really is very poignant and even to today's standard very timely. Such an important story and an undertold story so being able to tell it it's got to be great. Well you know it's so bizarre when you think about it it's a story that has never been told in the history of a Broadway musical never ever been told and so with that there's a lot of responsibility for all of us to be able to in telling the story for the very first time to really put our best foot forward and to be able to um, you know, respect the you know 120,000 Japanese Americans that were interned during that time. You know, George's experience as a young person in the camps. My father, who was interned up in Canada uh, during the same period of time. So it's a it's 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 important for us to to get it right. And I think what's been so great is that we've had from our Old Glow production, which happened in 2012 three years to continue to mine the material, work on the material, throw out some songs, write some new ones, and just get the script and the score to that kind of pristine place that we can share on the Great White Way.